Terpukunnya dari ada Dari ramu Mana bermutu asin Membeli perisa yang enak lagi Gunakan dengan ada pelbagai cara Ceriakan hidangan anda Merangkumi segala rasa And no, Dad, we made a really yummy dinner. It was super good. So many of you have asked for this recipe. So today we're going to teach you how to make broccoli cheddar soup. Let's get started. Here's all the things you'll need to make the recipe. First up, chop 12 ounces of carrots. Put the carrots in the saute pan. Now we're going to chop the celery. Pour in the celery. Here we go. Add three tablespoons of flour. Add two tablespoons of butter. Turn the heat to medium and mix it all together. This is fun. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Saute the vegetables for a few minutes. Now we're going to transfer the vegetables to a bigger pot. We might need an adult to help. Okay. Now add three cups of chicken broth. We made ours using this. You can also use two pound cans of chicken broth. Next, add one pound of frozen ball cream. A little less or a little more is always okay. Add one pound of rice. Add one bay leaf. Now mix it all together. David, do you want to turn? Yes. Add an extra cup of water and stir it in. Add three more cups of chicken broth. Cook till the broccoli is tender. We've cooked this for about 40 minutes. The broccoli is looking tender. But now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. A teaspoon of pepper. One cup of milk. Next, add 24 ounces of cheese. We're going to use a sliced Velveeta because it melts faster in the soup. <laughs> Stir it a little more. Finally, remove your bay leaf. For a quick, easy dinner that anyone can make, try pita bread pizza. First, put your bread on the tray. Pita bread is really good for you because it has a lot of protein. Next, put your sauce on. My family likes ranch, red sauce, and barbecue sauce.
Next, you add your cheese. Almost done. The last step is to add your toppings. My family likes pineapples and olives. See, isn't this easy? It's okay to sample while you're cooking. For the last step, you might need a grown-up's help to put it in the oven. Want some help? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure your oven is 375 at Fahrenheit. After 10 minutes, your pizza is done. Thanks for watching. Welcome to today's episode of Kids Size Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make French toast. These are all the ingredients and tools you need to make French toast. And don't forget to put an apron on so you won't ruin your clothes. First you start with making the batter to dip the toast in. My family likes to use three eggs for every one cup of milk. Cracking an egg can be tricky. You have to do it just right. Oh. Help 
Okay, turn the stove on. First, we're gonna add four tablespoons of butter. We whisk until it comes together. Now we're gonna slowly add one cup of milk. Whisk it all together. We're whisking out the chunks of flour. Next, add another cup of milk. salt and pepper. Make sure it was quickly so the salt doesn't burn. I think we need to add another cup of milk. sauce has a nice thick consistency. The sauce is ready for the cheese. We have sharp cheddar cheese. We added about two cups of cheese. After you add the cheese, your sauce is ready to eat. We like to eat our tea sauce with pasta and dip bread in it. Mm. That tastes good. Thanks for watching. Five eight eight two three hundred empire.